you know what? Get your stupid bank buster out of here. Get it far, far away. Why am I doing this? Well, I have my reasons. I have my little dirty secrets in my hand. Grease Fang Okiba Boss is my little secret. And it will be spilled very soon. Very soon. What up, brothers and sisters? And welcome to MTG Malone with me, Matches Malone. Thank you all so very freaking much for tuning in. I really appreciate you taking a busy time out of your busy day to watch me play some magic. And today we have a spicy, spicy deck that I've been building for the last few days just to make it work. Mm, so good. And it took a little time. It took a little playtesting. And uh, yeah, it is just amazing. So without further ado, enough with the yammering. Let's get into the bike of mice from Mars. Hammering. If you're old like me, you might know bike of mice from Mars. That series was amazing. It was about three mice from Mars that lived on Earth and they were riding bikes. They were like human size and humanoid and everything. I love that series. The bad guy was called Limburg, just like the cheese. So I was so excited to one day play a Grease Fang deck. I wasn't sure where to put it, you know? And I tried different builds, I tried different things, and this is it. At the beginning of combat on your turn, you return a target vehicle from your graveyard to the battlefield, it gains haste, and then you return it to your hand. And that is just super freaking nice, especially in this build where we don't discard. Like, that is not our thing, we don't have blue, so we cannot draw and discard, and uh, you know, we don't have red, so we cannot discard and draw. Yeah, that's how those two work. I know my thanks, I do. So, that is just what is up. And uh, how are we doing this? Well, we do have, for example, a Deadly Dispute. All of our like vehicles are also artifacts, so we can sacrifice them to the Deadly Dispute. But even more important, we have the right to a uh, Rite of Oblivion, where we can sacrifice one of our, uh, of our vehicles to, you know, exile one thing of theirs. And that is super good, because, you know, for example, if you uh, sacrifice an Ezekiel's Chariot, then you bring it back with the Grease Fang, you get even more cats. And the more cats, the better. Cats are adorable. Look at this little furry little... Oh, could you please take your booty out of my face? Thank you very much. And that is amazing because we have the Prosperous Innkeeper. So every time that this Ezekiel's Chariot hits the battlefield, we will like get two life back. And you know, they don't want to block it really. Because that means that it gets back for free next turn once more. And the free Ezekiel's Chariot... That is just amazing. What else do we have? Well, we have the Mukotai Soul Ripper. And that is just also very freaking amazing. Because, you know, it's a two-cost artifact vehicle, so we can sacrifice to the Deadly Dispute. But we can, like, sacrifice our Shamley Boy or our Eye Twitch to give it menace. We can sacrifice one of the cats if we really have to. We don't want to, but we could. And, you know, crew it. Give it plus one, plus one, a five, four with menace. That is pretty good. That is indeed pretty freaking Good. You know, and if you have your Grease Fang out, and you use the Mukotai Saw Ripper to bring it back, well, then you can still attack because you can crew it with the Grease Fang. Maybe you also have two other things out. Maybe you have a Love Spider out. And that is just super amazing. Also, we have the Rack and a Bank Buster to draw ourselves some cards. We can crew it for three, give it haste if the Grease Fang is out, and then just slam in for four. Why the heck not? Return it to our hand so it's even safe. We could also sacrifice it right away to the Deadly Dispute. We could also, like, you know, use it, attack in, use it to sacrifice to the right of, Obli uh, right of Oblivion. There's so many things you can do to ensure that, you know, your little vehicles will come back into your battlefield. Onto your battlefield, onto your battlefield. With the Grease Fang. Also, the Grease Fang cannot be uh, exiled with a Vanishing Verse. Also, we only have two Vanishing Verses because there is a lot of multicolored right now. There's also a lot of mono-colored, like mono-white, mono-green, but not as much as this. <laughs> there is enchantments. Trust me, you will encounter a lot of enchantments. And with this, you're pretty happy to have it. Also, we have the two Medoc Maskers to take care of the small stuff. So do we really care? Nah, nah, we don't. So, right to Oblivion, just super good. The only thing that could make this better if it is, was a freaking instant. But then it would just be busted. It would just be freaking 
busted. So that is the idea behind the deck. We have the Red and Seven to Croy, seek his chariot, make copies of the little fella. Super good. Also the plus one helps us get our vehicles into our graveyard, so not even half that bad. We have the Loaf to make ourselves spiders so we can block stuff in the air, because apart from these two we don't have anything to take care of flying creatures. So yeah, pretty freaking good. And um, what else? Eye Twitch gives us access to environmental sciences, Necrotic Fumes, Containment Breach, super important, Pest Summoning and the Masked Exhibition. I thought, you know, exiling even more stuff, why the heck not? Just beware that this doesn't sacrifice a creature, it exiles a creature, so you rather want to use it like, you know, on one of the spider tokens, that on your Ezekiel's chariot, or maybe one of the cats. We have so many tokens, it's alright, you know, we will be able to get the stuff done. So. Shamley boy, just super good, you can't sacrifice with the deadly dispute, make sure that you have your manas, because we are running a three mana deck, so uh, it can be a little bit tricky, and you will see situations where I'm super happy to have these tokens, you know, these treasure tokens here, these treasure tokens here, you can also use them to sacrifice them to the right of oblivion, super freaking good. So, that is it, that is the deck. You just try to overrun your opponent with infinite freaking Ezekiel's Chariot, Mukutai Sorup is wrecking a bank buster, get a million cats, get a bajillion life back, slam in with your spiders. You know, it's also super good to just... You crew the uh, Ezekiel's Chariot with the Grease Fang because you don't want to block with this. You make yourself some spiders. Those spiders are amazing. They're menace reach spiders. So yeah. Also, before you ask, yes. I cut the wedding announcement. It just didn't do too much of this deck. It was too small to croup, so and uh, it wasn't really needed, you know? They're, all the other cards are good in here. The wedding announcement, meh. Just meh. So, landwise, we do have two beautiful planes, two beautiful, uh, yeah, I was about to say mountains, swamps, and three, oh, I love this art, forest. Then we have four hive of the eye tyrant. Two Bright Climb Pathway, two Shattered Sanctum, two Dark Boar Pathway, two Death Cap Glade, and four Branch Loft freaking Pathways. I'm not a huge fan of the Pathways because I think they're not as strong as the Glades and the Sanctum and all of these double lands that we got from Innistrad, but I think that in this case it is very good to be able to choose, you know? If you can get a white source and you really need it, get it. Because you will need those white sources for this and for this. So yeah. Also, we only have like two cards with double black and only one card with double green, so it's going to be freaking alright. So, a lot of talking, but I just want to make sure that you get everything, and if you have any questions, don't you worry, just shoot them down in the comments, I will gladly answer them if I can. I couldn't have been this active in the comments right now at the moment, so I'm very sorry about that, but starting from today, I will be able to do so a little bit more than the last two days. Also, if you don't like what I'm doing, just leave. Just leave. That is why I say I am who I am. If you don't like the way of commentary that I do, just leave. I don't care. There's like a lot of people who like what I do. And even if it was only two, I would still keep on doing it. So thank you all so very freaking much for supporting me over the last 14 months. I'm Magis Malone, and I will see you all in those Biker Mice games. Biker Mice from Mars. Biker Mice from Mars. I don't know what the original soundtrack was, but that was like the Germans. Am I 1111? Somebody clipped the... Oh, I don't have a chat. I don't have a chat. Yeah, this hand is garbage. This hand is way better. Way better. I'll keep it. So. Opponent's going first. I don't like that one bit. And we're up against dragons. This hand just got way better. Way freaking better. So, <coughs> stupid dragon deck. There will be... <coughs> okay. Well, okay, you do you, my friend. You do you. Was that really worth it? Was it now? I don't know. I really don't know. So we're missing a land drop here. That is no bueno. Alrighty. Of course you have the expressive in your hand. Never, never not have it. Those are the two cards this deck will always have in their hand. Expressive iteration and, uh, you know, the other one. I, I forgot the name. All right. <laughs> okay. So. We're doing this now. And we're attacking in. 
Sacrificing the Shambly boy. So we can play our Ezekiel's Chariot next turn. Yes, very good. Very good. And with the Ezekiel's Chariot cats, we can even crew the uh, Mukutai Soul Ripper. So hey, all good. All freaking good. At least I hope so. They're not doing anything. All right, let's still try, you know? Usually they don't run counter spells. All they run is stuff like Javari Disruption. Well, here comes the Javari Disruption. Okay. Good. Well, I mean, that was pretty smart, I have to say. That was pretty, pretty good by them. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. Okay, yeah. That's, that's good. That's good. That is actually pretty good. But maybe we find a red man. Maybe we do. Dear Braid. Come on now. Well, at least they're missing a land drop. Am I right? Am I right? Anybody? No? Okay. So, we will attack in. Draw ourselves some cards. Be aggressive about it. And what do we get here? We're getting ourselves the pest summoning. Why not? Okay, well, ain't looking too good right now, is it? Is it? Is it? <laughs> so yeah, the uh, oh come on now, game, really, really. I would prefer you wouldn't have given them land or something like that, but this is just bananas. <coughs> Three expressive iterations, just like that. Just like that. And we're flooding hard. Okay, well, that is no bueno. That is actually no bueno. So what do you have here for me, my friend? Do you have another braid? Oh, the fading hope. Okay, well, what you gonna do about it? Not too much. Not too much. All right. But I don't think they have more than one colored stuff, you know, so the vanishing verse is looking pretty sweet here. Do you ever bring down a gold span dragon or something like that, you know? We're trying once more with the Seeker's Chariot. Now we do have enough mana to, you know, do stuff. I really wish we had our rat man, dude. That would be nice. But we don't. We don't have it. So, hey, what you gonna do about it? <coughs> oh my. This coffin will never stop. So, we still have the Vanishing Verse to counter, uh, to get rid of whatever they have. We will see what they do here. Okay, nothing. Alright, they pushed us back for long enough, you know, there's a limit. There's a freaking limit. Okay, did they find another abrade? I mean, right now their card selection engine was pretty tasty. Three expressive iterations, two Fading Hope, the Memory Deluge. Not bad, you know, not bad. Not bad, not good. So, two for it, it Kraken is seven. So they might have it next turn. But even if they do, we do have the Vanishing Verse. Are you kidding me? Get out of here, game. Just get out of here. There's a limit to what you can give people, you know? There's a freaking limit. And the limit has been achieved. Long time ago, the limit has been achieved. Are we running 28 lands in this deck? Did I miss something? Did I freaking miss something? All right. Getting rid of the memory deluge seems pretty smart. But what you gonna do here? What you gonna do here, my friend? Good. Nothing. I like it. I really do. So now we have the two vanishing verses open. That is pretty good. And maybe we even, you know, <coughs> who knows? Maybe we even find something. Maybe we do. Would be pretty good. Because right now, you know, we drew a lot of land. The Bloodthirsty Adversary. Alrighty. Getting the Abraid, I guess? Yeah, I think it's going to be the Abraid. Alrighty. We're, we're, you know, exiling this right away. So that we can attack in with our stiff. I think you smart countering this, eh? Yeah, well, you know, I do have the mana, so... I don't know what that was <coughs> all about. <coughs> oh my lord! <laughs> Give me my sweet, sweet coffee. My sweet, sweet coffee! 
So there's so many things we could draw right now that would help us. Ran and Seven, kind of one of them. Kinda. Because that is lethal next turn, you know? And if they do have the stupid Kraken, well, that is pretty good for them, isn't it? But we will have to see. So, lethal on the board here. Okay. Do you really have another fading hope? Or whatever. To burn down the house. Get out of here. Get freaking out of here. Well, isn't it Pichadori? Isn't it freaking Pichadori? Oh my lord, what is with the lands? Come on, can somebody tell me what is up with the lands? I would love to know. I would really, really love to know. Okay. So, one galvanic gun. And we're throwing down the pests just because we can. <coughs> <coughs> Holy smokes! My throat is not treating me right. Something's wrong there. Not a memory deluge. Okay. But what else are you doing? Another freaking land. Unbelievable. Just unfreaking believable. Okay. So what do you have here, my friend? More fading hopes? Do you have more fading hopes? We'll have to find out, don't we? Don't we? But we have freaking lethal on board. So yeah. Good luck with that. Unbelievable. Un freaking believable. Just unbelievable. How? How can somebody have it all all the time? Like there's a limit. Look at it. Look at it. It never stops. It just never stops. Wowzers. Just freaking wowzers. Get your stupid memory deluge out of here. All right. So now we don't have mana open for the stuff, but we're still kind of good, you know? We're still kind of good. What did I do there? I don't even know what I did. So, do you have the Kraken now? Do you have it now? I'm pretty sure that they have. A third memory deluge? Well, it ain't gonna help you, is it now? Well, maybe it will. We will see. But this is five mana open. Could be anything. Could be freaking anything. But all we've got to do is to get in for one single damage. Then we can play the Prosperous Innkeeper. Get ourselves three mana. Alright, my friend. What are you doing? Well, that ain't gonna be enough, is it? Now get out of here, is it? Get out of here. No land flood. No nothing could stop me from beating you up. Mmm. Get your... Get your infinite card selection out of here. Maybe I should drink more tea instead of coffee. It uh, like dries out your throat even more. All right, that was a pretty land intensive game. I hope that, well, you know, I cannot say no to this. I just can't. I'm bringing down a blue black source, of course, because we are after all the master of mono black and it's white. All right, this is perfect. Yeah, 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 it's perfect. So, we have this in hand. This is super good. The portable hole. No need to bring your mom into this. <laughs> All right, nothing is happening. I like that. I like that a lot. So they're blue, aren't they? They will play a blue here. They're just artifact stuff. I'm pretty sure they are. Oh, what? Why do you crack your revolving... Okay, interesting. So, Doomscar Ahoy? Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much Doomscar Ahoy. Alright, I just hope they don't have exile spells. Exiling would be pretty annoying here. If they Doomscar here, I will actually... Crew the Chariot. Swing low, sweet chariot. Crewing that wherever I go. I could also do some crazy shenaniganery here, but I think the loft is just a better play. Alrighty. 
and darkness will swallow you whole. Or whatever she says. Are we just attacking in with everything? Yeah, we are. We are. And let's make a spider. Why? Because there's menace! Easy peasy. Oh, come on, no. No, 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 no. No, not exiling. <coughs> Holy smokes. I got so worked up. That is just annoying. Just freaking annoying. I mean, if they at least like destroyed it only, would have been Q, you know? And they have a Bay for Master. Okay, yeah. Why not? Why not at this point? Have it all. Just... Just have it all. I don't mind. There you go. Get out of here. Get your... Get your stuff out of here. Alright. So we don't have any vehicles in our graveyard right now because they exiled it. They didn't destroy it. They exiled it. That must have been pretty tasty. But you know... We do have this now. So hey. So hey. Why the heck not? But you know what? Get your stupid bank buster out of here. Get it far, far away. Why am I doing this? Well, I have my reasons. I have my little dirty secrets in my hand. Grease Fang Okiba Boss is my little secret. And it will be spilled very soon. Very soon. Another Doom Scar. You think that can save you? You think that can save you? It can't. It just can't. One, two, three, four. Perfect. Perfect, as they say. Okay. There it comes, the Ezekiel's Chariot. Alright. Well, I would rather block with the... Why did this happen now? Why? Why? Oh, game. Oh, game. Okay, well, must have been my own fault for some reason, you know. Must have been my own freaking fault for some reason. So, it's looking pretty tasty, isn't it? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. All right. So we're bringing down the cat wagon here. Wait. We have lethal like this. I don't want people to tell me that I missed lethal, you know? That is nothing that I want. If they do have the uh, Empress once more here, hey, so be it. They do. Of course they do. Of, of course they do. <coughs> well, we're still getting in there for seven, so that is still pretty sweet. Oh, come on now. Well, we're getting in for six, that is pretty sweet. But they're kind of out of cards, you know? They kind of only have one thing left. So... What is that one thing they got left? We will have to find out, don't we? Don't we? So, uh... I mean, we're attacking in, I don't care. They can have it. Alrighty. So, we're not doing anything else. We're just chilling, you know? Even if they wipe the board here... So what? And they scoop! They scoop! Oh! Get out of here! You're... Mmm, double board wipe, double wanderer didn't help you. Did not freaking... What was that turn? Like, the moment I attacked in with everything, they had the Iganjo, <laughs> they had the Empress. <laughs> that was just bananas. Freaking banana, get out of here. To say that I love this deck would be an understatement. I mean, oh, we're finally back in the top, you know. Tinoldar. Opponent's going first. Do I like this? I do. I do like this hand. I really do. I mean, we're missing one green for the Ren and Seven, but that is alright for now. And it's mono green, eh? Okay. A lot of people playing mono green again. I don't know what is up with that, but that's just what it is. Alright, we have two meat hooks. Two. We drew them both. That is hot sauce. Hot sauce. Troll? Troll. All right. Well, this is good, though. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay. I mean, we aren't blocking with this eye twitch anyway. We 
aren't blocking with it anyways. So we could have a brand in seven next turn, which isn't even half that bad, you know? Not even half that bad. We will see, we will see. Uh, I mean, the Meadow Massacre is also looking not too good right now. Because, you know, I only have like two mana for it. Well, maybe three, but this is a 4-4, four four, so hey. Cannot do anything against it. So, Tinoldar. Tinoldar. So, I will be playing the random 7, even though the token will only be a 4-4. Four four. But that is okay. We're getting some life back, you know. We can crew the... Uh, the bank, bank buster with it if we need to. You're not doing anything, I like that. I really freaking do. You know what? Let's bring down the chariot. Swing low, sweet chariot. Gives us life. And we can attack in with the bank buster now. So let's do that. Let's freaking do that. And then next turn we can like crew the cat right away, you know? That is the reason why I did it. So, it is a race now, my friend. But I am smacking in for way more than you are. Way more. Okay, so what you got here? What you got, Willis? What you saying, Willis? So next turn we play the Brandon 7 and attack in with everything. Seems pretty tasty. But they have their own chariot. Well, that is adorable. Cats versus cats. But you know, my cats just give me life. Yours don't. Yours just don't. No blocks. <coughs> Alrighty. Oh, this is just so good. So we're playing this for a... White right now. Because we don't have any white. But we might need it later. I should have played this one as a white as well. But I haven't. Sue me. Freaking sue me. All right, Brandon Seven, you are up. Show these mono green people what mono green they scoop. I was just about to unfold my perfect plan of destruction. Bringing down the Brandon Seven, attacking in with the cat, making myself another five-five in the process. Ah, oh, could have been delicious. Could have been freaking chef's kiss delicious. So we're up against Jimmy the Bus Driver. We're back in the top 800. That makes me so happy. So happy. All right. I mean, you know, we can crew this with the Grease Fang. Let's keep it. Let's freaking keep it. We go with the way we do have also all the colors. All right, we're up against Mono White. That is a little bit annoying, but not the end of the world annoying, you know. It is still all right. It is still a-okay. Double hopeful initiate. Alrighty. But what good does it do to you? What good does it do to you? As soon as we bring down the Asikas Jared, we will be very happy, you know? Very freaking happy. The Adeline. Okay. Oh, yes, yes. I like this. I really do. I really freaking do. Because we can just bring it down next turn again, you know? And that is just amazing. But I think I'm going to go with the Seeker's Chariot. Alrighty. Just a little annoyance here. Just a little one. So this is the point where I could eat like the game before all of my Meatook Massacres. <coughs> they have been pretty cute. Pretty freaking cute. So, we do still have stuff, you know? It's not like we don't. It is not like we do not. Oh, yeah. Go ahead, destroy it. You do that. You freaking do that. That is nice. All right. Kind of what I want him to do, you know? Kind of really what I want him to do. So... How are we blocking here? We're blocking like this. That leaves us with one cat. And, uh... You know, this is just amazing. Just freaking amazing. Well, 
What's the bringing down the Mukatai Saw Ripper? Bringing down the Seekers Chariot. This time we're all only tapping the Grease Fang. We're not doing the same mistake again. Alright, attacking in with everything, making the token here. Good, good. So, what is your grand plan now, my friend? What is it? I will get even more cats afterwards. And I can just crew this, you know? That is just amazing. Just amazing. In Trevenant, I don't think that's going to be enough. I can still block, you know? I have infinite vehicular power here. Infinite vehicular power. I will use my infinite vehicular power. They are seriously attacking in with everything. They seriously are. Well, you do you, my friend. You do you. I will not tell you how to do this. I won't ever. Will never. Ain't gonna happen. Okay. So. How are we doing this? Well, I really want to get rid of this here. But we're doing it differently. We're giving them a choice. We are giving them a choice. Alrighty. This is just nice. This is just very nice. I like it. I really do. So this goes back to two. And uh, next turn we play the Seekers Chariot once more. I think everything is going very well right now. The only problem is... We, uh... We don't have anything against this stupid Cave of the Frost Dragon right now. We'll have to see how we're doing this. The Cave of the Frost Dragon could be a big problem if they draw one more land. Which they totally could. They totally freaking could. But I feel like we get him here. I feel like we get him. Like, we bring back the, uh... Mukotai Soul Ripper. It will get menace because I will sacrifice the one that crews it. That will become a 5-3. I will activate my Hive of the Eye Tyrant with menace. That will be a 3-3. I will attack in with everything else. I think that's going to be it. I think we got him. We got Mono White as well. It's looking pretty good, Jimmy the Bus Driver. What are you doing? What is your grand freaking plan? Alright, we will see what your grand freaking plan is. They might have this city, you know? The city that annoys me. So, Mukatai Soul Ripper, you're up. Throwing this little kitty here. They still have to block everything, you know? We just attack in with everything. Like, not even thinking about it. Math is for blockers. They would have to get rid of two things, you know? And I don't think that they're able to. I don't just don't think that they are able to. Yeah. Yeah, that is kind of it. Still not enough. Still not freaking... Oh, it gets them to life! No! 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 Exactly, full alone. No! Oh, come on! I haven't thought about the Wandering Empress! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, hell no! I was. Well, that's what you get for being cocky, you know? That is, that is what you get for being freaking cocky. Should have kept back one creature. One creature! I had just somebody not show up. So, Guerrero? Thank you very much, Guerriero, for the free rank. I'll take it. And we're going first. I love it. I love it. So, we do have all the colors we need as well. That is always freaking good. 
Always freaking good. Alrighty. I mean, yeah, that is alright for now. We're up against Mono White. That much I can tell you. Oh, it's enchantments. Oh no. Oh no. This deck is so good right now. So insanely good. Alright. Let us slam in for a lot of freaking damage. Quite a freaking heck not. Like, we will be playing the Ezekiel's Chariot also next turn. So that is pretty good, you know? Just pretty good. And I mean, we do have the Vanishing Verse and everything, so I'm not too afraid, you know? Just, just a little afraid. Just a little afraid. Alrighty. So, all of this doesn't concern me too much for now. It's still alright, you know? It is still pretty much alright. So... We do have all the colors. We do have this. So I'm pretty happy with the situation as it is. Yes, yes. And we're slamming in for a lot of freaking damage. <laughs> so what else do you want here, my friends? What else do you freaking want? So we do have like, you know, all the possibilities. All of them. Freaking all of them. Because what I can do is sacrifice these Seeker's Chariot as is an artifact, bring it back with the Grease Fang, attack in for even more damage, Vanishing Verse, the Weaver of Harmony. Amazing! Freaking amazing! So we will see how this turns out. We will see what Huckleberry will do. But right now, oh my lord, we're doing so well. So well. I love it. The Rune of Sustenance. Oh, that is a little bit annoying, but not at the end of the world annoying. I still think that my plan works out very well. So what else do you have? What else do you have? I mean, this Vanishing Verse is gonna ruin their day. It's just Huckleberry Finn. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. A little bit. A little bit sorry. Are you attacking in? You're not attacking in. You're not even attacking in. Well, let's ruin their day right away. Like, right away. All right. Now let's do this just because we can. Oh, come on. I just want to have a little bit of fun. Malone's just want to have fun. All right, back in the 676. Mmm, mmm, tasty. All right, we do have time for one game more here. Make myself a fresh new coffee. So, this will be the final boss. Must least trust. I mean, I kind of like this hand. We do have the Prosperous, we do have the Soul Ripper, so yeah, as long as we do find something to work with, we're happy. It's enchantments. It's freaking enchantments. Everybody and their mother is playing enchantments nowadays. Just everybody. Me included. Me included. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, that is alright still. We just need to be wary with our stuff. Thinking about what we want to do. Alright. So. We got another Prosperous Innkeeper. That is not even half that bad, you know? All the life we can get is good life. Okay. So we didn't get a freaking land, which is a little bit questionable. But hey, what am I supposed to say about that? The borrowed time. Alright, what you borrowing, though? What are you borrowing, though? Uh, okay. Well, in that case, you know... Let's, let's draw a little bit here. Like, we still have things to do, it's not like we don't. Especially now. Especially now. Alright, we do have the Asikas Jared. If we find, like, one more land here, we're super happy. Alright, we have two Asikas Chariots now. That is a lot of life gain, you know? A lot of freaking life gain, and I'll take it. I'll freaking take it. Okay. Good, good. Do you have another borrowed time here, Maslitros? Do you have it? So we can also like now block one of these things, so that is also very good. And we do have the right to Oblivion, so we can get rid of that as well. And that is super good. That is just super freaking good. Alright, did they ever pump this? No, they haven't. They have not. Okay. So are you attacking in though? You're not attacking in. I like that. I like that a lot. We cannot play the right to Oblivion. We cannot play it. Oh no, we don't have the mana. Oh, get out of here, game. Get out of here. We cannot freaking play it. Oh, that is just so bad. Just so freaking bad. Okay. Well, we're still gaining a lot of life here. 
Oh, uh, come on. How can we get screwed by the land so bad here? How? Somebody tell me. Somebody please tell me. How can we get screwed by the land so bad? It's incredible. It's just freaking incredible. Okay. So, we don't find a white source here. We did never find a wine source. No, we didn't. Did never find it. Yep, screwed by the land in the final game. Oh, come on now. Really, you have it all, don't you? You just have it all, don't you? Okay, well, it is what it is. What am I supposed to do about it? I just need, like, one land here. Whatever color and I can play the Asikas Chariot, at least. Well, that is pretty good, isn't it? But sooner or later, they will be out of power. And then what? Then what? Yeah, exactly. Nothing. Nothing. Come on, give me a land here. It's a land. Not the land I want to see, but it's a land nevertheless. So, we're at least gaining some life here. That is already very good. Very freaking good. Alright, and we are attacking in. Like, we're gaining life, they don't. So, yeah. Pretty good. And they have one card left. So, hey. What do I even care, you know? What do I even care? Alright. So if we gain one more land here, no matter the color, no matter the style, we will be able to play our Loth. And that's going to be glorious. They still have stuff. Watch them have the dog now. Watch them have the dog now. Oh, I can't wait for the dog. I can't wait for the dog. Why do I say dog? Because they're out of cards and they need to find a card. Alright, we will take one hit here. Yes. Alright, what is your glorious card that you keep in back here? That you manually tap? I told you. I freaking told you. How did I know? It was clear as day. That now that their hand is empty and we finally got to some point of, you know, glory. Oh, come on. It never stops, does it? It just never freaking stops, does it? And we cannot... By the love of us, find a freaking white source. That is all we would need, you know? One single freaking white source. But nope, ain't gonna get it. Ain't gonna freaking get it. All right. But at least we get all this life, you know, that is already pretty cute. And if they block like this, that is also very nice for me. I don't mind. I don't mind one bit. All right. Because we do have blockers here, you know, and sooner or later, sooner or later, we will find a freaking land, a white source at that. We will find it. Now watch him have another dog. I wouldn't be surprised at all. Not in the slightest. What a game. What a game. Oh, oh, okay, okay. They're digging. They're digging. I dig that. There it is. <laughs> I told you, watch him have another dog. And that is like the next... The pretty next thing they do is the dog. Is the dog. Incredible. Just incredible. Just freaking incredible. <laughs> Holy smoking Jesus. Alright. So we have to do this here. Getting rid of this little doggo is pretty good. Pretty freaking good. So if we ever find a freaking white source. Never. Never finding a freaking white source. Just never. Freaking ever. But we kind of have to do this now. We kind of have to also do this now. Because, you know, in a stalemate, that is all you can do. Like, all of these flyers are pretty freaking annoying, but they only have four. And we can still block some of them. Well, you really, really need that white source now. We really do. So, what else have you got here, my friend? What else have you got? I will block efficiently here. All right, you're going all in on the loath. All in on the loath. That is peculiar, to say the freaking least. So we're blocking here like this. Here like this. Here like this, and here like this. Good, good. So they will slowly but surely... Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? <laughs> what is happening? What the freaking heck is happening? Wow! Just wow! Okay. Well, I'm still happy with the situation for now. Still kinda happy. Well, that ain't no white source. That just ain't no white source. There it is! The white source of my dreams! 
It's finally here. It happened. It freaking happened. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Okay. So. Are we getting rid of the Cathilda? Wait, what do we have here? The Mukotai Saw Ripper. No, you know what? I think we need to get rid of this first. And the cat needs to go. I'm sorry, kitty cat. I'm freaking sorry. But you need to go. Alright. So now we can do this over and over again, which is extraordinarily good. Just extraordinarily good. Alright, but it doesn't give you any more, uh, you know, stuff. So that is pretty nice. Oh my lord. <laughs> Seriously, what a game. <laughs> what a game. Okay. So they're doing this. That is kind of fine by me, you know. Wait. I never see anything. It is so... These things are so badly done. So badly done. Alright. We're getting rid of you here, and you freaking here. Good, good. The getting rid of the Ren and Seven, that is kind of fine by me, you know? Kind of really fine by me. I'm still making myself some spiders, which gives me life, which is amazing. And what are you doing? Making yourself a samurai? Yes, okay. Well, you do that. You freaking do that. Alright. So, spiders ahoy. Good. Real good. So, sooner or later, this will go in our freaking favor. I can tell you that much already. And, uh... No. This one. This one. Yes. And we will see what we're getting ourselves here. But I think, in all honesty, it's going to be an environmental science. I've already played a land I don't even know. I don't even remember. So, White Source, there you are. What a freaking game. What a freaking game. Alright. We aren't attacking in here. We're not. Sadly. Sadly, we aren't attacking in. But we're on the verge to make a freaking comeback here, my friends. Just on the verge. Oh, they have another Cathilda. Why not, you know? Oh, alright. Yeah. I think the next thing we need to get rid of is this. Just this. One bajillion percento. One million bajillion percento. Alrighty. We put in the counter there. Strike fast and strike hard. I mean, we do have enough stuff, you know, it's not like we don't. Okay, I really don't get why they're doing this. But hey, you do you, my friend. You do you. Maybe they do have an answer for it. Maybe they don't. I don't know. I don't want to find out here. Alright, that pushes my loaf, which is all I care about. Good, good. Alright. So, what's the grand scheme here? What is the grand freaking scheme here? Oh, now we're finding the white sources. Now we're finding them. Oh, isn't it Peachadori? Isn't it freaking Peachadori? Alright, so how are we doing this? Well, we're doing our darndest to do it smart, you know? Just doing our darndest to do it smart. You need to go. My power is for annihilation. You make me more spiders. Good, good. You onto the battlefield with you, my friend. Onto the freaking battlefield. Alrighty. And now we're doing this. We're tapping the cats. And we're attacking in with these two here. Good. Real good. So, I feel like, I feel like we can turn this around. What, what is this game? Oh, watch him have another wanderer. Watch him have another wanderer. Just, okay, they don't. They don't have another wanderer. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you for not having another wanderer. All right. This comes back to my hand, but it doesn't really matter because we have another one in here. If I could remember correctly, we do. We do. So, and the next ride to Oblivion will take care of this ranger class. The Generous Visitor. Alrighty. I don't mind. I don't care, to be honest. I just don't. 
Did you kind naturalist? That is a little bit annoying, but not the end of the world annoying. Just not. All right. What a game. What a freaking game. All right. So this turns around. We're doing this. Slamming you on the field. Good. Good. Gaining some life. Using the right to oblivion to get rid of this now. Because it's just too much freaking value. And, uh, yes. Good. I like it. Now we're even drawing a card for our troubles. It's a land. Don't want to see that. But hey, what am I supposed to do about it? What am I supposed to do about it? All right. Activating you. I feel like we can turn this around. You know, I have a slight suspicion that we can turn this around. All right. And I'm making myself another tree folk. So we're to 33 life. That is just amazing. <laughs> You're blocking like this. Okay. That is absolutely fine by me, you know. Because I will just get it back every single freaking turn. So yeah. Thanks. Thanks, mom. All right, we have this 9-9 here. They drew land. I think... <laughs> I think this is pretty tasty. I think this is indeed pretty... Oh, gosh. Stop it, they're dead already. All right. So, another white source. Oh, my lord, we were struggling so hard. So hard to find a freaking white source. But here we are right now. Here we are, having all of these beautiful white sources. So, another caddy. All right. All these Cadillacs. Just amazing. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Okay. So, I am attacking in with everything but this. And this. We might need it. We might freaking need it. So, you kind of need to block here, my friend, don't you? And if you block any one of my creatures with this... I can do the minus one. Yeah, you also have to block like this. You have to block there. You have to block there. Oh, yes. Okay. D glorious. Freaking glorious. So, let me do the math here. Let me do the math. Yeah, I think we got him. I think. I think that is enough. Oh, what a freaking game. What a freaking game. You know what? I'm doing this just, just to spite you. Just to spite you, my friend. Oh, who is the number 243 in the freaking world rankings now? It's Malone in the house. Oh, man. What a game. What a freaking game. Well, I'm 570, but that is still enough. Get out of here. If only I would have thought about the Wanderer. Oh, I misplayed so bad there. But there you can see how not thinking about one single card can ruin the whole freaking game. And that person did it very, very well. I have, would have never expected the Wanderer there. I thought I was the only mad lad running a Wanderer in a mono white aggro deck. But obviously, a lot of people want to try it. Maybe it was even my build. Who knows? I cannot tell you. I, I wouldn't know. I have not seen a bankbuster or anything, so I, I wouldn't just, you know, assume that it was. But for the rest, the deck is pretty good. Also, Guerrero, if you don't want to play, just don't open the game and then just leave. Like, that is... Come on, man. So, yeah. But before I get into the wrap-up like a chewing gum, I want to thank all of my patrons and members so very freaking much. Starting as per usual with my Zeta the Great Hardest, Ready Cam, Chris Stevens, Tom Tom, Vincey Mage, Mickey White, Felipe Rodriguez, CS Jerry, my friends, and my Grave Wolf, and Mercy Aid, Steve, Jonathan Norton, Empty Bag, Morphy, Louis, Philippe Sans, Press, Jared Eskevich, Lil Juan, Jose Serron, Marcao Frescas, Kelly Post, Roy Green, Cordu, Ben Hughes, Demand, Oran, Jefferson Perito, Sunny Blood, Doc Vorpal, Billy Basham, Christian Rudig, Aeon, Danny Montgomery, Lucas Zimmer, Joe Jackson, Ariman, Azek XV, Chad in the Trainer, Roman Ganev, Troll Hug, Chris Diekman, Stan Gulecki, Psycho Train, Stan Carlson, Alexandre Pelusi, Andre Kelly, Bernard Zasovsky, Xerins, Juan Garcia, Herman, Dad, Amazing, 
Amy Craig, Brooks, Phil, Christopher Merritt, Samurai, Eduardo Mendes Filho, Drake, Allen, Teresa, Desalem. A special thanks to our gold span dragons, Waffles, Genuine, Sims to Six to Five, William White, Enrico Colombaroli, Mark Marino, Mr. My, James Wade, Monkey Rage, Jack Top, Jeff Smire, Raven, Chips, the Paul English Wolf, Cthulhu and Letters, uh, Jason Brown, Silas Fox, Nick Bob, Tim Nowitzki, Holderific, Del Martinez, Kevin Pratt, Trent Reese, James Brown, Anil Hale, Tim Ayer, Jeremiah Willard, Johnson Chowa, Joe Travelard, RCP76, Brett W, Adam Shakar, Orion Winterfire, Daniel Roma, Pathius, Kristen Armstrong, Ryan Glass, Onion, Evan Nothing, Load 6, Alessandro Maschi and San Mark, and a special thanks to Nico Bolas, God Pharaohs, Chris Katowski, Randolph, William Smith, The Lacrime, Brian O'Reilly, Machija, Quicks and Deal, Jonathan Zawa, Brown Beard II, Man's Room Louis, Matthew Donwin, and Mike Mike, the Mike Mike. Thank you all so very freaking much. I appreciate it so much that you go on the X and my supporting channel with your hard earned freaking cash. You guys and gals, three folks and bike and mice from Mars are pretty freaking sweet indeed. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you so very freaking much. And if you, by any chance, want to check out the Patreon and the membership, well, there's a button below every single video. There's a link to the Patreon below every single video. You can check that out. But if you don't have any hard earned cash to share, don't you worry about it, sweet summer child. There's always other ways to support the channel, like subscribing. It is free. It doesn't cost you anything. And it goes a long way supporting the channel. And we're only 150 people away from the 11k. And that is just freaking amazing. So thank you all so very freaking much. I uh, wouldn't be here without all of you. Just, I would have stopped like a long, long time ago. So... The deck is pretty fun. The deck is pretty crazy. The deck is so good. I love it. I really freaking do. So after these games, I think the Mukotai Sword Ripper is not that needed. If you find any other vehicle that you like, maybe put it in. Maybe, I don't know, try it out. But you know, I just like the art. I like everything about this card so much. But you know, it's not always the best. But hey... I at least wanted to try it out, and I think that it was a-okay. Just having something there that it, you know, draws their attention is also pretty good sometimes. And yeah, these two together, rats and cats, doing such a nice job, I would have never thought. Come on, get your, get your booty out of my face. So, maybe you could cut him for two more meat hook massacres. I don't know, do you really need four meat hook massacres? I would say yes. But I would always say yes to four Meadok Maskers. I am Meadok Malone, after all. So yeah, thank you all so very freaking much. This was Bike and Mice from Kamigawa. I'm Matches Malone, and I will see you all tomorrow.